What if AI could understand your world through your eyes? Over the past decade, AI has dramatically changed how we experience the internet. Today, it's also helping us to do things in the real world too. And in the future, AI will unlock more immersive experiences through AR glasses, where physical, augmented, and virtual reality all come together in a single space. I'm Kristen Grauman. I'm a research scientist at Facebook AI Research. A lot of success in computer vision has been for problems that care about understanding the world as a spectator or from the third person perspective. Ego 4D is a research project dedicated to understanding egocentric video. Egocentric video is video taken from a first person perspective. It's when we're interested in robots that move around and act in human spaces or augmented reality systems that are worn by people we need to understand the world from that first-person view. And so Ego4D is a project aimed at solving research challenges from this first-person perspective in machine perception, and is the world's largest first-person video data set captured in the wild with unscripted activity by people just living their daily lives. Facebook AI partnered with 13 universities who collected more than 2,200 hours of first-person video in the wild. The university partners worked with more than 700 unique participants across nine different countries. The Ego 40 benchmark tests are all about understanding how a person is interacting with the environment, with objects, and with other people. So we have tasks that move from the past to the present to the future, understanding things that you would like to remember, the things you're doing now, or the things you might do next. And so we came up with five such tasks. They are episodic memory, forecasting, hand and object manipulation, audiovisual conversation transcription, and social interaction. These tasks provide a common objective for researchers to make new advances in egocentric perception. They'll lay the groundwork to build the augmented reality and robotic systems of the future. Where is it? Where'd you have it last? <sighs> I don't know, I thought I put it in here, but I guess not. So imagine you've misplaced something that matters a lot to you. Maybe it's a family heirloom, you stowed it away, maybe quite a long time ago. In the episodic memory task, we'll have computer vision systems that can answer questions like that by understanding all the past video from this wearable camera. Where did I put grandma's watch? With this technology of the future, you'd be able to ask the question, where did I put this? And be told, because this would be a perfect memory from your first person visual experience. Thank you. <laughs> You're hey, welcome. guy. But I hey, hey, babe. Mom with the forecasting task is asking not what happened before, but what might happen next. So this will be really important if you want machine systems that can help guide you through a task. So to anticipate what you're trying to do before you actually do it. So for example, if you're cooking and an augmented reality system is guiding you through the process, it would need to understand what are all the ingredients, where are they in the space, how do you perform each step of the recipe. So you've already added the salt and the system realizes you're about to reach for the salt again and put it in and could stop you. In the audio-visual transcription and social interaction tasks, we want to know who's saying what when and who's paying attention to whom. Here you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mom used to make this so spicy. What was the pepper she used to use? So for example, how to recall elements about the way a family member used to cook this dish that you've heard in the past, but now you need to be reminded of. In the hands and objects task, we are interested in understanding how a person is manipulating objects. So a lot of our first person activity is about using objects in our environment. So imagine you're trying to teach someone how to play the drums. And this would require understanding from the first person perspective about how to use the drumsticks and where to put them next and anticipating what the person trying to learn this instrument is about to do in the next step and correct them if they're wrong. Record lesson. The AR system could recognize the steps that you're trying to demonstrate. Save that as dad beats and share with Esty. And then provide them later in an ordered way for the student. So for AI systems to learn how to interact with the world the way we do, they need to learn from first-person video. Play Dad's Beats.
The Eco4D dataset will be the fuel that you can use to train AI systems to learn how to understand everyday life from the human perspective. So this Eco4D project is poised to transform the kind of problems that researchers can get their hands on. This data is gonna enable new research on all the first-person video tasks that we've been describing, and this will pave the way to the augmented reality and the robotics systems of the future.